Boston. But this is Gasparino. And now Sheedy. Up goes McGraw. Yes, it's there. And that's come down towards Pound's end. Oh, yes. Up goes Keane. Gasparino. The flag stays down. It's 3 1. We were at that stage probably um, in our prime as a man says the whole squad you know and that would have been uh, an ideal opportunity to test ourselves against the best in uh, in Europe Oh, Bonner beats it there! Disaster and Poland have equalised 3-3 And I remember watching England uh, play in Poland and, and our boys were in uh, Turkey, I believe, and uh, at one time we were winning and England were losing, and I thought, yes, you know, we, we're going to get there, and it was agony pacing up and down, watching all this on the television, and of course, uh, I believe Gary Lineker ended up uh, scoring one for England, and a draw was good enough for them, but that was really disappointing. So this potentially dangerous for them. McCarthy's throw, up goes Cascarino. Support from Staunton, two from Sheedy, and McGrath. Towards Staunton, there's no offside. Staunton delivers the cross, burn there! And now Cascarino! And here's Sheedy's corner now. At the back, it's McGrath. And it's there again, John Brown once more! Splendid stuff, 3-1 Ireland. We went away and beat... Uh... Turkey 3-1 after being a goal down to a penalty and the players were devastated when we got the England result back through and they'd managed to sneak a draw and they'd gone through on goal difference. I mean, we were devastated. It was because we hadn't lost a game in the competition. We'd gone through and not lost a game and hadn't qualified. But then that one went, I went and saw that and learned a lot. And, um, and then on to America. <laughs> in the group of three Ireland Republic. The first interview after it was in Belfast and, and somebody asked me on television who I thought would qualify. And I said it would be between um, the Republic, Denmark or Spain. And they were most upset that I hadn't included Northern Ireland. We took a point of Spain away and we took a point of Denmark away. So it gave us an opportunity to make a mistake. And, but my first thoughts were that that I felt they were going to beat everybody else, so we had to beat everybody else as well. When I was a kid, about half past three, my mom said, daughter, come here to me. There's things may come and things may go, but this is my thing. Think what you do with the way that you do it. Think what you do with the way that you do it. Think what you do with the way that you do it. That's what gets results. You can try hard, don't mean a thing. Take it easy, easy. Then your dad will swing. Oh, with take what to do with the place that you do with take what to do with the time that you do with take what to do with the And he's beaten a good cross, and it's there! Got all red! It's the way that you sing it! That's what gets you the best! We took the maximum six points out of the three games. That really gave us the edge on everybody else. 
And then it meant that we had to make it pay in Dublin against Spain. If we beat Spain, we've qualified. Taken by Ferrer, Julio Salinas. Oh, there's a goal! A goal by Caminero! Still Julio Salinas. Oh, there's another! Disaster! Sheridan hooked it away to Julio Salinas. Jack, are we still on the way to the USA? I have no say? idea. I've been trying to talk you out of talking that way for the last two months. We did, we did very well in, the, in the, the games up to this one. We've had a bad day. In Belfast, we've got to have a good day. I always felt we would have better side the name in that we would get the draw we wanted. I never imagined the emotions in the way that, in, in the, the feelings that were, were stirred up in the ground. It was nasty. It was, it was unhealthy. He's trying to close him down. Goes Alan Cohen. The ball goes across the face of 18 yards. Out the shot. Going in. It's a goal. All the Ireland has scored. Great goal. And I remember I brought Ray Houghton off, and Ray wasn't very pleased at being brought off, and he said, I'm the only one getting any chances. And I said, you're the only one missing the chances. So I put Alan McLaughlin on, I said, Alan, you play where you play best, just behind the front two. We'll be getting the ball in there, and you'll pick up the drop-offs at the edge of the box. Left to go. About 13 minutes of normal time. Yes, that's plenty of time for us to get back in it. And Irwin, with the free kick, throws across it, always fell back to the shot, no! Of all our players who had lashed at things and put them over the bar, we had some good chances and lashed them over the bar and put them away the push, we never had a target. Alan suddenly took a couple of seconds to pull it down, let it bounce, and he stuck his volley in exactly where he wanted. Thanks. Somebody asked me to go and present some prizes in the, the, the social club upstairs. And I went in. And I went in and we got rapturous rounds of applause from the Northern Irish people, all of them in there. And we got rapturous rounds of applause and cheers and everything. And I couldn't believe it. Because I hadn't beat us, they were cheering for us. But they didn't want us to win in the first place. And it was such a change from one attitude to the other attitude upstairs. to strike balls and we hadn't struck them right at all. And Allens was the one, right, right keen, I'd hit one that went past the post. And then it dropped a while in and he stuck it in the back of the net. And it justifies his existence for the last two Jack. years. <laughs> in New York, it means Ireland go into this group. Ireland Republic, playing with number two. Mean they'll open their the program against Italy, Italy in the New Republic York of on Made Saturday, the, the 18th of June. They're first. My wife. Borrowed 500 pounds this time four years ago, sent me over to the quarterfinal. And when I came back, I said, That's it. I'm starting to save now. I owe you a holiday. And we're going to qualify for the American World Cup. Ireland and qualified and you cancelled the wedding. So, we <laughs> so we're wedding. going to get married next year instead. Next year instead. They're in good shape. They're in good, 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 good mind. They're in good mind. And they will do their best tomorrow to make you all proud and have a great party tomorrow night and win, lose, or draw. And you do put me under pressure when you say we're going to beat the Italians. <laughs> the Irish being led out for the 16th time by Andy Townsend in his new blonde hair. It's definitely the pinnacle of my career um, to to lead the team out and uh, at the Giant Stadium, especially against Italy in that first game, was was a fantastic moment, um, one that I'll remember for a, for an awful long time. But let us now enjoy this moment. Our on the vein in the USA. OK, well, your prediction then for this one? Uh, I would go for a draw. No score. No, no score. And, Joe, you're convinced an Irish I'm win by a goal? 1-0. No. Total control in midfield, 1-0. No. Sheridan. But easy, onto it comes Houghton. And Houghton with the shot, and it's there! Ray Houghton! Bring me back, and I'll do the...
the job for you, Jack. And he's done just that after only 11 minutes. What splendid, sparkling opportunism. There was a lot of rumours at the time that I might not be playing. Uh, I worked hard through uh, the summer and Jack rewar rewarded me by, by playing me. And, uh, you know, thankfully on the day I went out and done the business for them and scored the goal. Tassotti. Baggio. Albertini. Dino Baggio. And in goes Roberto Baggio. McGrath's head got there. Dino Baggio once more. Again it's McGrath. And now Baggio once again. Signori Baggio. And once more Paul McGrath, the man to the rescue. I think the game in uh, New York against Italy was probably... Uh, the one that sticks in the memory a bit. Uh, just because how things went, Ray scoring the goal, us actually getting off to a good start uh, for a change. Roy Keane. Townsend. Keane. He's got away from his marker. Points in the middle. And Sheridan! Oh, the crossbar saves Italy! Because there were so many Irish people in the stadium, there was a terrific atmosphere, and it was a great opening to the World Cup, beating Italy, who eventually went on to the finals, as we know. I thought that was a very emotional type of moment. Is it ever going to end? So reminiscent of Windsor Park in November, when they played four minutes in Seville before we knew for sure. Well, we know for sure now. History has been made in the giant stadium in New Jersey. Another magnificent chapter in Jack Charlton's managerial career. The Republic of Ireland have beaten Italy for the very first time. And Jack Charlton's victory in his 79th international in charge is surely one of the biggest he has ever, ever achieved.